Hey, what's up everyone? Dr. Testosterone here once again from the Center for Neurosomatic Studies with my buddy right here, Sir Symmetry. Tell us about the center, man. The center, man. The Center for Neurosomatic Studies. So guys, yeah. um, I went ahead and did the 18 month program here. And uh, honestly, man, like this is like really, um, this is like, a, this is really just it's close to my heart, really. I learned so much being here in a, a year and a half, not only about uh, the body and um, the the way things function, the anatomy, the physiology, all the stuff that we've learned, but just even more just about myself. It's been an amazing, crazy journey. The, the people that I've met, the people I've been able to talk to, to network with, to become familiar with, uh, to meet all these great people in person. Uh, and I, it's really just been uh, an honor to be able to come to this school. And um, it's been amazing. Like if anyone is looking for something that they want to change their life or do something that uh, has just giving back, uh, I've been able to uh, learned so much from these people so now uh, and I've been able to give to him and so now we are here to take all the information that uh, we've both learned together and give it to you guys so hell yeah hell yeah so now and this is one of the the holy grails <laughs> yeah the center for neurosomatic studies yeah what so. one one interesting thing is you have a you had a specific reason for entering the school, mm -hmm. right? You had a passion for certain things and that's why you entered the school. Mm -hmm. So someone who's watching, uh, who may be in the same shoes as you used to be, mm -hmm. might be watching this video confused about what they should do next. Yeah. Now, if they have the same goals as you have, or if they have the same passion as you have, mm -hmm. they might not even know about this center. Yes. So the point here is what would a person who's watching, what kind of characteristics should that person have mm -hmm. in terms of their goals and their passions that this should be their number one choice? Why? So first things first, I'll, I'll, I'll just start even just with my story, I guess. So, you know, I was working out and uh, I hurt my back. I went to plenty of people, massage therapists, physical therapists. Uh, what else? Uh, I did, you know, trainers and tried to do specific exercises and none of it worked uh it just didn't work for me you know uh chiropractors like even just getting an adjustment it didn't uh, decrease my pain and so i was trying to figure out what was going on what was going on luckily enough i was able to see a video uh that uh, was on elliot holse's channel strength camp and i saw them that they did a video about this luckily i i lived in tampa which is about uh 30 45 minutes from here uh and so I was like, oh, I need to go check it out. Something was just calling me. And next thing you know, and I, you know, I was in the middle of going to school, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I want to go to physical therapy school, and which is you know, a PhD, which uh, costs a lot of money. And really, I came here and I realized, I'm, I'm also like uh, someone who likes to take control of my life, not control of everything, but just really because when we come here, when you come here, like nothing's handed to you. You have to do the work, you have to, uh, change your life you have to change your habits um, nothing's handed over in a silver platter once even even once that diploma is given and you're uh, th they help you in every way that they can but you also have to go out uh, and talk to people network with people so it has taught me so much so we really if you if anyone wants to attend this school they have to be responsible hungry I would say hungry hunger is like the the most important because you want to you have to hunger to succeed because if not you're just going to be a, a just a, a boring like normal i wouldn't say normal but just a boring therapist like you're not going to get clients you have to go out there and hustle teach people that's the biggest thing you have to be able to teach paul st john which is uh, uh of course one of the founders of this school uh talks about indoctrinating right you, you need to yeah the, the the meaning of a doctor is to in, is to teach to indoctrinate and so you have to, that's why uh, we learn all the things that we learn. So we're able to tell our clients and our, and our patients why we're doing what we do to get them out of pain. So got it, got it. So they have, to, so basically uh, they have, they have to be hungry. They have mm -hmm. to be passionate. 
Uh, they have to be people person. Yes. They have to be able to like talk to people, help mm -hmm. people practically and every day get satisfied yes. with what they do. Mm -hmm. And this is really interesting because, uh, you know, you might have seen our other videos. We have different videos about posture correction, about uh, why a girl loves it when you pull her hair. Uh, we have uh, the uh, sexual benefits of neurosomatic ther therapy. We have all of these videos and you know, you notice that everything is very practical, mm -hmm. right? So if a person who's, if you're watching this and you want to do something that's practical and that benefits someone right away, mm -hmm. and then you see that smile on their face and then you see that high five and they walk out of your office and, and you feel really good driving home, mm -hmm. then this is the place for you hands down. Mm -hmm. And someone like Elliot Hulse promotes something which he does rarely. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is something really worth checking out. So uh, that's great, man. Thank you for that amazing introduction. Awesome. That is Sir Symmetry. This is Dr. Stostrone, and we will see you next time. Boom.